Welcome to the Benny Report. I'm Benny Johnson. Republicans buy sneakers too. Michael Jordan famously said when asked why he refused to campaign for Democrats. Sound logic from arguably the most successful athlete in world history. Your chief goal as a professional performer is to attract fans and turn those fans into adoring customers. In America, we have this remarkable thing called capitalism, where working class people will fork over their hard-earned cash for your shoes, jersey, movies, overpriced stadium, beer, and popcorn. All they ask is that you don't insult them. It's a pretty simple rule and a totally sweet gig. Did you know that the average salary for an NFL player is $3 million a year? That's the average. The average salary for a professional baseball player is $4 million a year. In the NBA, it's $8 million a year. But instead of being grateful for the country, capitalist system, and creator that gave them such an advantage in life, many modern athletes are intent on creating an entirely new sport, the Oppression Olympics. Phenomenal athletes used to show us the height of human achievement. In the Oppression Olympics, mediocre athletes show us the depths of ingratitude and narcissism. Colin Kaepernick is the master of ceremonies. U.S. working class normies, like me, are no longer buying it, figuratively and literally. Consider the difference between Michael Jordan and his Polaroid negative LeBron James. Both are gifted ballers and superstars, that's not debatable, but one is a total jerk who insults half the country. Why? Because LeBron is woke, and wokeness makes you dumb. Over the past few years, LeBron has declared Trump supporters wasn't educated while he was playing in Ohio, a Trump state. LeBron has publicly praised the Communist Party of China, insulted our First Amendment, disgraced the American National Anthem, and tried to destroy the career of an Ohio police officer whose only crime was saving the life of an innocent black person. LeBron James's Space Jam is a complete failure at the box office compared to Michael Jordan's, perhaps because James is the most hated athlete in the country, according to polls. James's legacy on the NBA will be to crater its viewership by 25%, a Yahoo News poll found that 34% of viewers say that they watch less sports because of social justice campaign. Functional citizens in society are repulsed by wokeness. It's why professional sports along with liberal arts colleges, Hollywood studios, and award shows are bleeding cash and ratings. How unpopular is wokeness? When was the last time that patriotic Americans rooted against Team USA in the Olympics? But from Gwen Berry to Megan Rapinoe, Americans are saying very clearly, you do not represent me in this year's Olympic Games. When Team USA women's soccer played Canada in the Olympic semifinals this week, many found themselves cheering for Canada. When was the last time red-blooded Americans cheered for Canada? Never. We have never cheered for Canada. Maybe this will be the only time. That's the power of the poison of wokeness. It makes Americans root against Team America. But guess what? You can't protest America if you don't make the podium, guys, all right? Something to keep in mind. Megan Rapinoe is the purest distillation, the final form of the woke athlete, an entitled, self-obsessed, rotten apple who cares not for her team, fans, or country. Rapinoe is the star nebula of narcissists. Watch how she, watch how she celebrated her team and country winning the World Cup two years ago. What do you have to I say? This. What do you deserve? I deserve this. You deserve all of it. Everything. You deserve this. Wow. What an example for our children. Definitely. You deserve this. You did everything, Megan. Good job. Good job. Contrast that to fully woke Rapno two years later, losing to Canada. The team wasn't able to click throughout this tournament. I don't know. I've been, I mean, listen, I think about it every single day. Um, I feel like we haven't had our joy a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, you've brought no one joy through your scolding and wokeness, and wokeness makes you lose your disgracing America. It destroys you, wokeness does, and it makes your fans and your country hate you. In contrast, being humble and gracious, even in the face of jaw-dropping domination, makes you beloved. Sydney McLaughlin is a Team USA track superstar, dominating her sport more than LeBron or Rapinoe ever could dream. She holds the world record for the 400-meter hurdles, a very tough race, and makes her competition look like they're running in slow motion underwater. 
She is one of the true bright stars for Team America in this Olympics and will surely wear gold around her neck. Sydney can run her race faster than any female who has ever lived on this planet by a long shot. She has every reason to be proud of herself for that. When asked about her record, world record setting domination, did Sydney say, I deserve this? No, she said this. Records come and go, but the glory of God is eternal. I no longer run for self-recognition, but to reflect his perfect will that is already set in stone. I don't deserve anything, but by grace, through faith, Jesus has given me everything. This is how you know who to cheer for, America. Wokeness is for losers. Humility and graciousness makes you a winner. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.